Hey guys, so first tutorial of the Ratchet and Clank series We'll take a look at the grappling hook of course, the famous grappling hook As you can see these are the, greens, the green ones and the yellow ones if you're familiar with the game So first things first we're going to do the green one And in the second tutorial we're going to see how the yellow one is uh, functioning Because it's a little more complicated than the green one So there we go this is how the green one should function you can add uh, you can get your artists to do the effects and sounds etc so let's take a look into it first things first you're going to want to go to your project settings input and add a new action mapping which is gravel i've banned it to q or you can do it whatever you want that's a fast way to test it uh, instead of like setting up a gun system and all this stuff so next we're going to make a gravel state enumeration which is no gravel green gravel and yellow gravel respectively for what action is our player doing that's to keep in track uh, our state inside our third person character then we've got a couple of factors these gravel points whoops so We've got the yellow one, the green one, and a standard gra gravel point. This act, this class acts as a parent. So, for example, these one are children of this. So we can grab the references a little bit easier. This part right there is where we want our character to go. You can like mess around with it based on your character's dimension so his head doesn't go inside this and also be sure to set this sphere to no collision although I have a note so yeah do that also we're going to use a float that's a distance property that's in order to calculate for each one the distance of our character and grab the one with the less distance that means the one which is the closest to our character we're going to use it in our blue, hand, blue hat function that I covered in the introduction you should already have that, it's the easiest way to calculate these things so moving over to the green grab point, nothing fancy, just the children so we're going to use the class just to have uh, some different mechanic going on now on to our first person character, so on our begin play we're going to initialize an array of grab point actors actors not grapple points this uh, happens because the minimum with property blue hat function from C++ is uh, built to handle an array of factors and we don't want to convert everything we just want to cast afterwards so we are just going to gather all the gravel points in our level now when the pl player decides to grapple we're going first to check if there is there are actual grub points inside the array which is like its length is greater than no because we don't want our editor to crash or the game to crash respectively on the, on the player then we're going to enter a sequence first we're going to oh by the way this part this logic right there is like covered in the blue hat tutorial that i've linked in the introduction, it's one of the requirements for this you know, you should probably learn to use it now, we just calculate for each gravel point the distance it has from the player this is a custom macro I made just to make things a little more tidy it's uh, pretty basic gets an actual reference and checks uh, his distance with her third person character which is the current actor and then sets its distance property right there as you can see let's make it editable just so we keep some organization going on and then we find the minimum property and we we loop through essentially what this node uh, does is it loops through all the grab points and grabs the one with the smallest uh, distance from the character and this is case sensitive so be careful do that we then cast the grab point and we check if it's close enough to the player it may be the closest one in general compared to all the other grab points but we are not sure if he's close enough if he's inside our grab distance uh, range which is like this one here I found out um, 
1100 to work pretty well you can alter it to whatever you want and then we set our gravel target to the actual gravel point so we can use it later to execute our mechanics if it's a green gravel point we set the state to our green gravel we disable gravity so we can like push the player to the sky and set the velocity to zero now why do we set the velocity to zero because if the player stops grappling in the middle in, in of the air and he has velocity from his previous uh, state and because we essentially interpolate right there to set his location he will go backwards for example sometimes so just do that pretty good addition gives it triple a game feel and if it's not a green gravel point we cast a yellow gravel point which is actually going to be for sure and we set our gravel state to yellow gravel this part the whole yellow gravel point part that's not finished right there will be covered in the next tutorial the part two of this one so moving on we've got a custom event and the released exec pin of our gravel input action pointing the same thing so based on what our gravel state was before we execute some mechanic just to reset the values so for example we set the gravel state to no gravel and we enable gravity which we disabled back here so that's what you want to do exactly now keep this grapple and custom event in mind so back onto our event tick we enter a sequence just uh, maybe we want to do some other calculations never know and then we set on grapple state we will cover only the green grapple uh, state on this tutorial and obviously if we do not grapple we do not want any of the grappling logic to occur so we're actually lapping the, our actor's location from our current location to the hook target which is the arrow below the gravel target as shown by you before plug in the delta seconds and an interpolation speed you want this to be fairly high and bear in mind we're using the vector interpolate to constant because we want a constant rate we don't want it to ease in and ease out it will take an eternity for the animation to complete afterwards we check if our actor location is actually matching the location that we're supposed to interpolate to for example we want our actor to finish his grappling while he reached the end so even if you hold Q he will stop grappling it will not be for example stuck up there there you go you can see it like this so that's the way to do this and then if we reach the final destination we enter the grappling event just so we finish our grappling this pretty much covers it up thanks for watching and subscribe so you can see the next tutorial get notified about it whatever peace